Hi there, my name is Etra with Mind Studios, and this is part 6 of our tutorial series all about making your own game in Universal Fighting Engine. If you haven't seen the overview video in the top right, I highly recommend you watch that in order to learn about how to follow along with this series. Today we're going to make aggressive, defensive, and balanced enemy AI behaviors, then we'll fuse all those behaviors into a boss enemy behavior for our demo game. To start, let's set up our game for quickly testing AI behaviors. Right now, if I want to test our AI, I have to jump through a few menus here before I can play the game. And I get no information on the states of the player or the computer-controlled opponent. Both of these things will make testing a bit aggravating, so to fix these problems, we should go to the heart and soul of our project, the global settings, and change two things. First, we can go to Deployment Options and select which mode I want to start the game in. In this case, I want to go to Versus Mode, and then I'll make Jeff our character we play as, and then Robot Kyle the character we're fighting. Actually, I'm going to make that Ybot here. And then make sure to check right here which one you want to be CPU controlled versus which ones you want player controlled. And finally, to save a bit of extra time, you can even skip the opening loading screen. This will start our game right in a battle. To get more information about our characters, I can scroll up here to Debug Options, click Display Debugger Info on Screen, and Restart. With the Debug Info, we can see each character's state data from each move, and more. Now that we have our game set up for testing, we can start messing with the AI. We can head down to AI options and see that there are two AI engines available for us to use. The first is random AI, and random AI truly is random and very, very simple. There are no difficulty options or custom behavior. Random AI works by picking random actions from a list of actions it can perform, and if you increase or decrease the sliders between 0 and 1 here, it will increase or decrease the chances of that random action being selected by the AI for its input. Random AI has a few sets of these random actions, and the AI switches between these sets based on how far away an opponent is from it. For example, when the AI is far away from the opponent, it should have a high chance of moving forward towards its enemy, and a low chance of attacking, like there's practically zero, because it's not right up to the enemy to attack it. And when the AI is right next to the opponent, it shouldn't move forward at all, but instead should have a very high chance of attacking. Random AI is a simple, easy-to-edit system for short games or very quick testing. However, if we want more advanced behavior in our AIs, we have Fuzzy AI. Fuzzy AI is also random, but it's based off a lot more weights and custom rules, so we can create more varied opponents with custom behaviors and difficulty adjustment. Fuzzy AI is in every engine version of UFE except the light version. And about Fuzzy AI, we actually have some pre-built Fuzzy AI behaviors in our characters already. If we head over to Ybot here, you may remember we gave him the mix-up aggressive behavior. And we can click this button to see a bunch of pre-made Fuzzy AI behaviors. To see more info about what options the Fuzzy AI is choosing, we can head back to our global settings go to Debug Options, and check down here to show Fuzzy AI's whitelist. We can see that our AI is definitely a lot more aggressive than random AI, and we can actually pause the game and take a look at each of these specific choices the enemy AI is making. A modifier on Fuzzy AI that is very important to note are all the difficulty settings. For each difficulty level, you can set how long it takes for an AI to make a decision, how long it takes them to perform certain actions, how dedicated they are to custom rules, how aggressive they are, and how likely it is for an AI to follow up on a potential combo. To learn about these difficulty settings and more about fuzzy AI in general, remember, you can press the question mark in any of these custom windows to be sent to documentation about any of these features. We also have a separate video which goes over some additional details about Fuzzy AI. If we go to the character and click whatever Fuzzy AI behavior we have, we can be sent to all the presets again, 
And if I try to open up one of these presets, you'll see that we have a custom AI editor just for messing with fuzzy AI behaviors. One neat thing with fuzzy AI is that we can make boss battle-like behaviors, where our AI behavior changes over the course of the match. For example, I want Ybot to start the battle ridiculously over-aggressive, with no blocking at all. We'll use predefined rules to make the aggressive behavior. Then once his health is low enough, he's going to switch to near-perfect defense. We'll need to use custom rules to make sure his defenses are impenetrable. Finally, Ybot will end the fight with a more balanced behavior. To start, we'll make our own really aggressive starting behavior. To make a new fuzzy behavior, just right-click, create, go to UFE, AI file. And I'll call this overly aggressive. I'll make sure to check show debug info so we can see the weights of the AI choices in our debug info. And then we can hop on over to predefined rules, because this is all we're going to edit for this first behavior. In here, we can select what the enemy automatically does. So for our aggressive behavior, let's have the AI automatically move towards the opponent, and of course try to get very close. We'll have the AI automatically jump, but never jump backwards. These bars increase or decrease the chances of the AI performing a certain action, so in our case, Let's make the AI basically never jump back or straight and jump forward like crazy. Of course, for our aggressive behavior, we want our AI to attack as much as possible. But remember to check this box which says range filters in order for the AI to only attack with moves it is in range to hit the player with. And we don't want the enemy AI to block at all. Before we start the game, we can actually look at this tab right here, which is Generated Fuzzy Rules. And these are all the custom rules that are going to be generated from our predefined rule sliders up here. What these fuzzy rules do is if a certain condition is fulfilled, then it changes the chances of a certain option occurring. So for example, if Distant Self is very close to the enemy, then moving forward is not really desirable, because if they're already close to the opponent, they shouldn't really walk towards it even further. And then over here, if the distance is far, then moving forward is the best option for the enemy. We'll make some of these custom rules for ourselves a bit later, but for now, let's actually make the enemy perform this behavior by going down to character, and then dragging in our overly aggressive behavior and test it out. As you can see, our instruction set overly aggressive is loaded up, and all the enemy does is attack and never block, so I can kind of block, and then beat him with some signature Jeff Crab Game fireballs. And win the match. I was thinking for our battle, once the enemy loses 20% of its health, the enemy will become really defensive. Let's make that behavior now. I'll call this one perfect defense. Now you may think all we need to do here is move the stand block and crouch block accuracy sliders all the way up, but the problem with that is the AI just picks randomly which block it should perform. This means sometimes our player can break through this almost perfect block defenses because it will randomly choose a crouch block instead of a stand block. Yeah, there we go. Now, this just won't do for a behavior called perfect block, so we'll go back to the AI, and we can add two custom rules to make this work. First, we want to create a rule called block high. In here, we're going to make a new event. If this event is true, it will trigger any reactions listed below. To make the event true or false, we need to give the event a condition. In our case, the condition will be if the opponent is attacking, specifically with an overhead attack. Then, if they're attacking with an overhead attack, we'll create a new reaction, and it's going to be stand block and that's going to be the best option for the AI. If we test out our game, we'll see that now, for any overhead attack, the computer will properly block. 
However, it's not doing anything about attacks that are not overhead attacks. So we can create another rule called block low, and we'll say that for any attack, block low is the best option. Things seem to be working mostly fine here, as the AI will block most of our attacks. However, if I try to attack with overhead attacks, sometimes it just messes up. And this is because if we try an overhead and we pause the game here, let's see, the stand block and crouch block are at the exact same weight of 0.7 when an overhead attack occurs. Both of these have the best option selected when a overhead attack occurs. And when that happens, when they have equal weights, it's just gonna choose a random one of the two. So this means that for overhead attacks, this guy's only got a 50% chance of blocking them. So to fix that, we can actually just go down to crouch block, and switch that to very desirable since we have no other opposing options. That way, when there is an overhead attack, it will always block high, but for every other attack, it will block low. And now we're almost perfect. The only problem here is that sometimes if I try an overhead attack from very high up, it walks back, it does its little block, but by the time the foot reaches the enemy AI, the, it's done blocking. So to extend the time the opponent is blocking, we can actually go down to advanced options, and then directional padding is how long it holds a specific button down. So let's move this to 0.4. I'm also going to decrease the time between actions so it immediately responds to the enemy attacking. And with that, we should have a perfectly defended enemy AI. The only thing I can do is grab it, but we'll leave that in for now. Uh, we could add in a rule to make it tech grabs, but I kind of want the player to, in this phase of the fight, grab the opponent, and that will move them to the next phase of the fight. And about that, we have our first two behaviors here. We have our perfect defense, and we have our overly aggressive, but to switch between them, I just kind of have to physically drag these in, and that won't do in the middle of a live fight. So what we can do is head over to overly aggressive and add a new custom rule to the AI. We can make a specific custom rule which changes the behavior of the character under certain conditions, but in order to do that, both of our instructions need to be listed on the character here. So I'm going to bring this down. Then we have to give our behavior certain tags. So I'm going to give this the aggressive tag and this one the defensive tag. And now we can switch back to overly aggressive. And we can make a new rule, which we'll just say switch to defense. We'll go to events, make a new event, make a new condition. And our condition will be when the CPU loses enough health, we'll switch behaviors. We can go to opponent, condition type, health status. And for its health, we don't see percentages. We see this weird, healthy, scratch, lightly wounded, and so on. And we don't know what any of these mean right now. But don't worry, we can see and even control what these states mean by heading down to definitions. And then right here in health, we can say at what percentage the enemy opponent is at healthy, scratched, lightly wounded, moderately wounded, and so on. So I think when the opponent is at 80% of its health or just lightly wounded, I'm going to have it switch to a different behavior. So lightly wounded, the reaction is going to be, uh, actually self, not opponent, the reaction is going to be change behavior to defensive, and that is the best option. All right, so after taking 20% damage, our enemy AI switches to the block behavior, and I can throw them out of this and slowly damage them over time, but I don't want that to be the entire rest of the battle, so let's add one more behavior to our enemy. We'll go to the character, add a new instruction, and for this one, I'll use one of the pre-made instructions, 
mix up defensive, and tag that as our balanced behavior. We can head on over to the perfect defense here and then add in a behavior switching rule. Let's see. And again, when the AI takes enough damage, it'll switch its behavior. Now if we play the game, we'll see that he's being aggressive, but also will shield on occasion. Let's see here. Yeah, so wait a second. This isn't our overly aggressive behavior we're starting out on. If we pause, we can actually see it's starting with mix up defensive, even though overly aggressive is at the top of our AI instructions. The computer is automatically choosing the balanced behavior, and this is because of our settings in difficulty. If we stop the game and we head on back over to our global settings, if we head over to our difficulty, we'll see that we're on the normal difficulty, and its startup behavior is going to be balanced, which means whenever the game starts, it's going to pick from the AI list of behaviors whichever one is tagged with balanced. Let's see. That'd be right a character. Yeah, so it's grabbing our mix-up defensive behavior. But I don't want that. I just want the UFE to read whatever the top behavior is and pick that. So to do that, we just set its startup behavior to any. With that done, our boss battle AI is complete. It starts with the overly aggressive behavior, switches to the defensive, and then finally ends things out with a balanced behavior until the end of the fight. Now, whenever I face the Ybot CPU, it's like a boss battle. Well, what if I wanted a standard behavior for an AI in versus mode, but I wanted the boss battle behavior in story mode? That's what we'll cover in the next chapter in a video which is all about modes. I'll see you there. Bye.